<clears throat> All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We've got a pretty interesting one. This is pretty much just going to be a um, a Target haul, I guess. Uh, these are just some packs that I picked up at my local Target. We've done a Target video before, but we were comparing it against Walmart, which we've established the Walmart at my place is trash. Um, however, this Target actually had some pretty cool stuff, and uh, they recently restocked it. So I thought it'd be really cool to go grab a few packs, open a couple up for today's video. And I also have a special little bonus at the very end of this video. Um, it has nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think it's pretty cool regardless. Uh, some of you might like it, some of you might not care, but I think it'd be quite cool to look at. Uh, it's a neat little TCG product that I want to check out. But for right now, we are going to get into what I found at my Target. So the things that I found that I purchased were uh, three Cyberstorm Access Blisters. We have not opened up Cyberstorm Access on the channel, so I thought that would be pretty fun to do. And then we, they had uh, a couple of these 25th anniversary, uh, you know, retro things that are way expensive, like way too expensive for what they are, but exciting nonetheless. And also, um, in, in the next video, we'll be uh, opening up the... Um, Metal Raiders misshipped box. So we're gonna be opening up another Metal Raiders box break um, because I just decided not to send it back in for my refund and I think it'll just be better to open up on the channel anyway. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Um, so this isn't gonna be a super long video or anything, but I do think it will be pretty fun. Uh, so let's start with a uh, Cyberstorm Access because you know we've never opened it on the channel. And um, I don't know, I like, uh, I kinda wanna get all of my um, stuff out of the way well we still can um, or I want to get all of the packs that I've uh, done I want to open up every single pack um, at some point or another um, but let's get right into it Anything decent, please. That would be great. I don't know what's in Cyberstorm Access. I also don't know the pack trick, like, at all. But um, let's see what we got here. So we have, let's get all these packs out of the way. To not mess with the focus of this. Um, Golden Cloud Beast Malong. Um, Super Heavy Samurai Sogalia Booster. Sakitama. Moiza Knight the Comet General. Bee Trooper Cruel Saturnus is our super rare, which is super nice because those are not guaranteed. So that's our super, pretty nice. Uh, Cyber Sage, Dream Tower of Princess Nomuria, Dream Nomuria Dream Defender Kote, Kashtira Astra. I don't know what's in this set. Uh, as I have stated many times, um, I am pretty not good at knowing what goes in sets um because i i didn't start doing new Yu-Gi-Oh until uh i started this channel um i did play master duel but that was about it all right that's it for that one let's get into one of these guys um uh and these are also different than the ones we did last time because last time they had a uh, Pharaoh servant and blue eyes uh legend of blue eyes pack Whereas this time it's Metal Raiders and Legend of Blue Eyes. So that's pretty cool. Um, I would love to see one that has Dark Crisis in it because we still have yet to pull any of the new Dark Crisis. But uh, oh my god, Spriggan's Kit. That is so lame. I think that's I think we got that in the last one was a Spriggan's Kit. So yeah, not very good card. Um, I mean, it is a good card in Spriggan's, but it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a structure deck card. So... Yeah, those bonus cards are never really that good. They're usually scammy. Uh, let's save the, the LOV. Let's do the Metal Raiders pack. Let's see what we got in here. Can we pull the Summon Skull? That would be amazing. I think it's one, two, three. It's four from the back, I think. Do, yeah, do these. I think that's how that goes. So we've got a Yadokaru, Illusionist Faceless Mage, Dome of the Angel of Silence, Pecanio Moth, a Magician of Faith as the Rare, Queen's Double, Paralyzing Potion, Bottom Dweller, and the Curry Box. So I definitely did that pack trick wrong. Um, oh, well. Uh, let's get into the LOB pack. These packs actually feel pretty nice. I don't know what it is with the 25th uh, century reprints on these... Um, on these... 
I don't know, these, these 25th anniversary reprint packs. I don't know, they just feel nice. Succubus Knight, Electro Whip, Silver Fang, Nemeriko, Beaver Warrior, Hinotama Soul, Kurama, Grave Digger Ghoul, and right arm of the Forbidden One, Ultra Rare. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty sick. That is amazing. Out of one pack of LOB, we get the right arm of the Forbidden One. That is pretty amazing. I don't think that's the same one that we pulled last time. I think that's the other arm. I think we pulled the left arm last time, but um, I will check my binder after this episode. Hopefully it's different. But that is wild. That's awesome. Could not be more happy about that pull. That's sick. Whew. My goal is to pull uh, every single piece of Exodia from the 25th anniversary reprints at some point. Um, let's get into another Cyberstorm access here. Um, they did also have some other stuff at Target that I was tempted on getting, uh, but I didn't uh, pull the trigger on because they had like so many of the 20, uh, 22 Megatons. Um, and I thought about grabbing those, but like, we've already opened so many of those on the channel already. And I... Uh, the new Duelist tin is coming out, Duelist Heroes or whatever, which I'm super excited for that to come out. I cannot wait to do videos on those. But, um, yeah, I just didn't see a point when those are coming out soon. Um, anyway, let's get... Oh, I don't know the pack trick, so let's just do, like, the, the, that many. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Cyanet Circuit. Gold... Oh, this is the Gold Pride set. That's what Cyberstorm Access was. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like Gold Pride. Gold Pride, it's neck and neck. Sakitama. Obviously, I like Gold Pride. That's what my mat is. Fallout of Argarios. Dynamorphia Intact. Elmuria. Oh my god! We just pulled a secret rare! Sumeria Kitsunagi, the Lord of Swords. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't know what that's worth, but... That's one hell of a good draw. It's a secret rare. Those are definitely not guaranteed. Whoa. Whoa. What are this? These are, pulls are insane. Target actually going hard right now. Um, I don't know what deck this guy goes in, but like, damn. I mean, you guys are going to know the price, obviously, but so far, so fucking good. Holy shit. These, um, these pulls have been kind of insane. Uh, I think we'll do, uh, I think they're doing a pretty good order right now. So we'll do one more of the... Um, 25th anniversary retro packs, and then we'll get into the final Cyberstorm access. It's been a pretty sick video so far. Um, Genta, Gateman of the Dark World, I'm pretty sure that's from the structure deck. Yeah, literally the Dark World structure that just came out. That is really funny. Um, but yeah, that is amazing. These pulls have been absolutely wild. Let's get into the Metal Raider set. Let's keep the hype train going, dude. I am I am ready. Uh, I think it's... Let's do the last... Let's do the four and fifth one. Hopefully that'll do it. We got Castle of Dark Illusions, Mega Thunderball, Share the Pain, Swamp Battle Guard, Ancient Brain, Flame Cerberus, Prevent Rat, Mooka Mooka, Bistro Butcher, and that's it. Okay. I thought we had more card in there. Hmm. Uh, Mooka Mooka. We'll take it. Um, pretty nice little retro card there. And now we've got Blue Eyes, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, L.O.B. Will we be lucky enough to pull another Ultra Rare? Probably not. That was kind of a... It's kind of a fluke, not gonna lie. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, out of these target packs, you never know. Ray and Temperature, Electro Whip, Silver Bow and Arrow, Beast Fangs, Drooling Lizard, Karama, Stone Ogre Grotto number one, and Dragoness the Wicked Knight. Dang. Lame. Hate to see it. All right. Last pack of the day. We've got a Cyberstorm Access. Let's see what we got. Part of the cards. Last pack magic. I... Okay, cool. Thought I ripped the pack for a second. I was a little worried. Um, I do apologize for the slightly shorter video this week. I, again, not sure if, like, you guys like the shorter videos or if you want them to all be, like, 30 minutes. Um, but... I definitely wanted to get into some opening. I definitely wanted to open all these packs today. So I know there's not a lot, but I just thought it was fun. Uh, so let's get into it. How did Die get here? 
Bunny Ear Enthusiast, Pendulum Pendant, Kitsune Kitsunebe, Dreaming Nelmeria. Now that's another super rare. Oh, pretty sick, actually, not bad. Um, or no, wait. Maybe supers are guaranteed, because this is one foil per pack. I don't actually know. Unless they count rares as foils, I'm not sure. Um, don't know if supers are guaranteed or not. But um, yeah, Amazement, Super Heavy Samurai Motorbike, Reinforce, and another Colte. And that is it. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. Not a bad opening, uh, not gonna lie. I think that went pretty well, all things considered. Um, just a bunch of random ass packs from uh, Target, I think is great. Um, very excited to open more. I definitely wanna open more Cyber, uh, Cyber Access because I think that was pretty good. Um, but you know, having a secret rare and a ultra rare from LOB is pretty wild. But real quick, now that that's all out of the way, I did want to show off a little bonus thing, because now, not only did my target have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but they also started carrying the One Piece trading card game, which is crazy to me. They got starter deck Monkey D. Luffy and starter deck Yamato, which is wild. Uh, and not, on, not only that, but they were also carrying blisters for the core sets. Um, and I thought about buying a couple of them, I really did, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually like get into One Piece stuff. I mean, this channel is primarily Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, with it being such a new channel, I didn't wanna diverge crazy into, um, you know, different card games already. Um, maybe I might save uh, different card game pulls for live streams. I think that's a pretty good way of doing it. But I did want to open up one of these decks and kind of just take a look at them. Uh, I'm going to do the Yamato one because I don't know if you noticed, but I have a Yamato uh, tattoo. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I kind of want to get into the One Piece trading card game, but at the same time, I don't know if I will or not. It's, uh, I don't know, but it is really cool nonetheless. There is Yamato right there. If you don't like One Piece, um, what are you doing with your life? The live action just came out uh, yesterday, or today, uh, and I plan on watching it at some point tonight, but for right now, uh, let's just look through this real quick. It's Yamato, that's your leader card. Kazuki Oden, love to see him. Portkis the Ace, uh, Uzuki Tempura. Obviously this might be spoilers for some people, but Boltees. Uh, Kaido, wow, that's weird. Uh, Momonosuke's. Uh, oh, Shinobu, young Shinobu, that's pretty cool. Uh, Shimutsuki Ushimaru, the one that looks like Zoro, pretty wild. Um, cannot pronounce that dude's name. Monkey D. Luffy, of course. Uh, regular Yamato's. Uh, oh, Yamato in her wolf form is pretty sick. Um, Defeating some of the numbers. I like how there's panels straight from the anime or the manga, which is pretty cool. Thunder Baguas, and that's it. And then Don cards. So, pretty cool. Um, I think anyway. Um, pretty neato. Uh, I'm not gonna bother opening up the other one right now because, wow. Um, don't know if you guys just heard that, but that's my face cam has uh, been turned off uh, because it's out of battery. So rough but that's okay because we were done with the video anyway just had to get this back in here and yeah so uh yeah i'm not gonna bother opening up the the other one i just thought that was really cool and wanted to let, know what you guys thought of it but and also the video was short regardless so but that will be all uh hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you uh in the next one